The relay pumping operation is transferring the water with multiple portable fire pumps for long distance where single pump cannot reach. The relay pumping operation may cause a breakage of second pump and fire hose, cavitation, overheat, and etc. because of inappropriate pump pressure control. Therefore, the adjustment of the suction and pump pressure on first and second pump is really important for safe operation. Tohatsu's VS63ASR, the automatic relay pump, is able to prevent typical trouble, which may be occurred in the relay pumping operation, by discharging and transferring water controlled by water pressure sensor. VS63ASR will be started or stopped by water pressure sensor activated by water flow from the first pump, which means that no one is required to operate the automatic relay pump. Of course, it can also be used as normal portable fire pump by pushing the operation mode switch. First of all, Check to see if all the drain valves are closed. Please close the valves. If the valve is opened, the water comes out when receiving the water. Remove the suction cap and put the water relief valve on suction port. This is to prevent from the pump and fire hose breakage due to the excessive pressure. Put the fire hose for receiving and transferring the water. After putting the hoses, open the discharge valve. Also, the nozzle must be opened. Check to see if the throttle dial is at low pressure position. Push the operation mode switch. Once the pump is on, push the operation mode switch again for two second. The operation mode switch will change the color in red. The pump would be into automatic relay pump mode when beep sounds comes on. Start first pump and then start transferring the water. When the water arrives to the automatic relay pump and the suction pressure comes over 0.1 megapascals, the automatic relay pump will be started. The automatic relay pump adjusts the suction pressure to be lower than 0.1 megapascals automatically. In the relay pumping operation, it doesn't need to be controlled the throttle dial of the automatic relay pump for adjusting the pressure. Actually, the throttle dial can't be controlled in the automatic relay pump mode. Please carefully control the pumping pressure from the first pump not to become the excessive pressure. By putting the flow indicator to first pump, no calculation is needed about the friction and turning loss and the back pressure. By controlling the throttle dial to be at the red indicator, it can transfer appropriate amount of the water with single line easily. In case the throttle dial must be controlled, automatic relay pump is needed to be in single pump mode. The throttle dial must be at lower position when it changes to single pump mode for safety reason, since the pump pressure is fixed by the position of the throttle dial. 
It can be changed from the automatic pump mode into single pump mode by pushing the operation mode switch in two seconds. It can be changed to any mode on the automatic relay pump or single pump mode by pushing the operation mode switch for two seconds. In the automatic relay pump mode, the automatic relay pump will be stopped automatically in 15 seconds when the water pressure becomes lower than 0.05 megapascals because of stopping the first pump. When finishing the automatic relay pumping operation, the first pump should be turned off after receiving clear closing sign from the person who holds the nozzle. The nozzle must be opened until all of the pumps are stopped. In the automatic relay pump mode, the automatic relay pump will be stopped automatically in 15 seconds after the first pump is stopped. In normal relay pumping operation, the pumps must be turned off from the pump located close to the nozzle, and the first pump must be turned off lastly. The discharge valve and the nozzle must be opened until all of the pumps are turned off. The relay pumping operation may cause of serious or dangerous trouble the best understanding of the operation at procedure and the pressure control is required for safety operation. The second pump or fire hose breakage may occur when the pressure is too high from the first pump. The cavitation or overheat issue comes up on the second pump if the pressure isn't enough from the first pump. Also, there is a possibility of the water hammer when the hose is blocked during the water transfer. These are the key points for the automatic relay pumping operation. In other words, the automatic relay pumping operation, three points are absolutely imperative. First of all, the start of the operation is from first pump. Secondly, the stopping the pump is also from first pump. Thirdly, the nozzle and all discharge valves should not be closed. Tohatsu's VF63ASR, the automatic relay pump, controls the pressure automatically. It makes a lot of easier and tough situation or a site where is complicated for getting water. By putting the flow indicator on the first pump and the water relief valves on the automatic relay pump, the automatic relay pumping operation can be carried out very easily.